Hi, this is Abel with the Controls Freak, and this is another great video about BAPI's Blue Test Tool uh, Temperature and Humidity Sensor Pro. Tooth. Yeah, I just did that. What? Specifically on unboxing what you're going to receive when you place your order with BAPI and receive your Blue Test Tool. So once you order your BAPI Blue Test uh, probe in the mail, you should get a container like this. I'm just kidding. This is a shipping container, but it did raise some eyebrows when I pulled this baby out of the PO box. Here we go. A little bit better. All right, so when you order the uh, blue test sensor, you'll probably get a box similar to this. It's a pretty little sturdy case that you can keep the probe in and all the documentation. Um, it's pretty handy and uh, definitely sturdy to throw around inside of a truck. It's not gonna get damaged or anything. So let's open it up and take a look. So we've got some foam padding to protect the sensor and not much to it, it's the sensor. Um, <laughs> So here's your blue test probe brought up on top and be careful not to throw away the case or get rid of the case. There's some important documentation in here, especially if you plan on using uh, anything to deal with the certification of the sensor being NIST certified. There's a little envelope here, it says certification documentation. Um, inside here you'll find the typical forms uh, stating uh, the testing conditions and the results and so forth. So definitely keep a hold of this. Uh, if you don't file it away somewhere at the office, definitely keep it inside the case with you in case you need it out on site. So inside here also we have an operation and instruction manual. So this one is actually, uh, there's a digital PDF version of this online. So in case you lose this, not a problem, you can download it on your laptop. So if you ever need to refer to it in the field, it's actually pretty extensive. Um, it's got some pictures and screenshots of the Blue Test app and uh, also some figures on the actual sensor itself. So definitely good, good uh, documentation to hold on to and keep with you. Um, one of the more important uh, things to look at once you receive uh, the Pro for the first time using it is the uh, Quick Start Guide. Uh, there's also a PDF of this as well in digital format, but this right here will give you the first few steps to installing the app and pairing the app. Or you can watch the uh, video that I put together on pairing the probe uh, with the application in your phone. So these are the kinds of documentation that come with the unit. And uh, all this gets neatly packaged in the sturdy case. Um, the other thing I noticed with the probe itself is it has a protective tip on there that's a little hard to kind of pull off. So the secret is just get your uh, fingernail, or if you have nails, and uh, just kind of slide it right off the edge there. Not too difficult. Slide it off. It's easy enough. Uh, it definitely is recommended to put this cap over it because the sensor to the probe is right at the tip. Uh, if you get dust and dirt or anything that get clogged in there, I'm sure that'll affect your reading. So definitely make sure that out on the job site when you've got drywall, insulation, and all kinds of other stuff flying around the air that you go ahead and keep that covered and protected. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just uh, this is what's received when you order the BAPI Blue Test tool. I've used this sensor out in the field myself. I haven't just made videos. I actually did use it on a commissioning a project. However, I wasn't able to film uh, most of it because obviously I'm full time and on the clock. Um, so unfortunately I didn't get much footage of me actually using a sensor, but I did use it for about two days. Did some commissioning on a couple of different air handlers and it worked great. Um, I was able to set the sensor inside the air handler, was able to take some measurements, log it to my phone, and then because in the case of where I was at, my laptop was a pretty good distance away, I was able to take immediate readings at that moment and then be able to go walk over to the laptop later and then uh, record the readings all at once. So it was actually uh, pretty good. Uh, it worked out really well. I was able to uh, use the sensor and uh, actually get into these units. They were pretty large units. So I was able to actually stand in the unit or have uh, my intern Ben uh, inside the unit holding this while uh, I was looking at my phone to see what the distance was. Uh, these were actually built up air handlers. So they had metal walls all around it. Um, they were a good, I'd say 12 feet tall and about 30, 40 feet long. And I was able to actually uh, receive the signals that he was reading while standing inside the unit. I was able to get the reading standing across the room, which is a good another 30 feet or so, which is almost at the limits uh, of what Bluetooth says. I think, it's, I think it's something about 30 feet for Bluetooth. So it was a very reliable signal. I was able to get them every 15 seconds like uh, normal. So it worked great for me. And I uh, wanted to give some feedback to BAPI, which actually a lot of it, they had already had it in the works. So be prepared to get some new things coming out from BAPI with the blue test. Some of those suggestions were things like adding some sort of a clip to be able to hold it. Uh, one of the things I encountered when uh, I was at uh, a particular project was while I was in the unit, I noticed I kind of had to still remain in the unit to really put it where I wanted to in a large unit. I needed to say hold it up to like right here or down low. 
Um, there was a couple of instances where it wouldn't have been very good to be able to set it just on the floor like this, especially with the wind blowing, it would have fell over. So Bappy, uh, already knowing this, they already came out with a cool little clip uh, that attaches at the end of the probe uh, to be able to hold it in place. As you can see here in this drawing, um, the clip just slides over the tip of the uh, probe, which doesn't necessarily have to be a blue test. I think they had uh, uh, some ideas of using it with just about any test probe or any other sensor that you may have uh, to be able to clip it uh, temporarily inside of a unit. Another thing to note about the uh, sensor is that right at the very tip of the uh, probe is where you actually have part of the humidity uh, sensor. So one of the things that you'd be very careful with in using this is when you shove it into a unit that may have insulation and so forth, you might just want to make sure that you don't get uh, dirt or dust or insulation stuck in between there. I uh, just kind of want to make sure you be careful with the tip there. Uh, definitely that could affect your readings if you got something gummed up inside there. Taking a look at the end of the probe, it's pretty easy to take it apart. And honestly, there's no reason why you would want to other than to change the battery. They do talk about in your user manual to have a tool to be able to quote, open it up. Not really necessary. If you just get your hand wrapped around here, apply a little bit of pressure, not too much. And just this cap right here just twists off pretty easily. It's not a big thing. Once you get it off, there's really not a whole lot here. Uh, really the only reason why you would ever need to do this is to be able to access the internal battery uh, for replacement. So no real good reason to take it apart, but it is pretty simple. You don't need a special tool. Bappy's guys are really on top of this tool. I hope they do some great things with it. Um, I definitely am looking forward to seeing what else they come up say with. Thank you to Bappy for uh, giving me a chance to uh, review the uh, sensor and uh, give my thoughts about it. I know it's something a little different for a, a manufacturer to send out a sensor to be reviewed by somebody in the uh, HVAC or controls industry, but thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you uh, supporting the Controls Freak. Don't forget to stop by the website if you're watching this on YouTube and take a look at all the other great information that's available. Uh, don't forget to like and thumbs up uh, the video if you think I'm doing a good job. Uh, if not, hey, leave some comments. If you got questions or concerns, I'm sure uh, Bappy's representatives will be paying attention to those comments, so leave them down below. Thanks a lot.